the 10 highest grossing Ed Screen movies. Before we start, I'd like you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Uptech. Number 10, Naked Singularity, 2021. A crime thriller by Chase Palmer, Naked Singularity revolves around the world of a young New York City, the public defender who sees the science of the universe collapsing everywhere. Adapted from the book of the same title, Screen portrayed the character of Craig, and the film only made $6,405 at the box office. Number 9. The Model, 2016 A Danish movie based on European fashion, The Model is an intense psychological thriller about an inexperienced young woman who finds herself in the world of elites. The Hollywood Reporter states that the lead role is played by Maria Palm, a Danish model, while Ed Screen portrays a British hot couture photographer named Shane White. The independent film was well received by critics and made $27,000 at the box office. Number 8. Kill Your Friends, 2015. A British black comedy adapted from the 2008 novel Kill Your Friends was officially selected for a premiere at the 2015 Toronto Film Festival. The movie is based on the British music industry during the late 1990s and stars Nicholas Holt as the lead character of Stephen Stelfox and Ed Screen as Rent. The movie made $506,721 at the box office. Number 7. Northmen, A Viking Saga, 2014. The Northmen, A Viking Saga, a historical action film, narrated a story about Vikings. They go past enemy lines under the command of a young leader portrayed by Tom Hopper to Rob Gold. Directed by Claudio Fa, the movie saw Ed Screen starring in a supporting role of Shore. The movie was a moderate success at the box office and earned $12 million worldwide. Number 6. If Beale Street Could Talk, 2018. A romantic comedy based on the 1974 novel published by James Baldwin, If Beale Street Could Talk, was directed by Barry Jenkins, best known for Moonlight, which won Best Picture at the 2017 Oscars. The film grossed $20.6 million at the box office worldwide. The promising love story was well received by audiences, as noted by The Guardian, and screen portrayed the character of Officer Bell. Number 5. The Transporter Refueled, 2015. Ed Screen received the opportunity of a lifetime when he was cast as the infamous Frank Martin in the Transporter reboot movie, where he replaced Jason Statham's role. The Transporter Refueled was a box office success, as it grossed $72 million worldwide against the $22 million spent on a budget of the film. Number 4. Midway, 2019 a film based on the Battle of Midway, Midway is a war epic that starts a myriad of celebrities like Nick Jonas, Patrick Wilson, Luke Evans, Mandy Moore, Aaron Eckhart, and many more, with Ed Screen in the lead as Lieutenant Dick Best. Midway was greenlit with a $100 million budget, which is the highest for an independent film, and the movie made $126 million at the box office worldwide. Number 3. Alita Battle Angel, 2019 a Japanese cyberpunk movie, Alita Battle Angel is based on the same title manga series. The film stars Rosa Salazar in the titular role with Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Kennelly, and Ed Screen in supporting roles. The movie follows Salazar's character trying to find her new identity as she's revived as a battle cyborg. Screen portrayed the character of Zapan, one of Alita's deadliest enemies. As mentioned by Observer, the movie grossed $405 million worldwide and is expected to have a sequel. Number 2. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, 2019 Known to portray some famous antagonists, Screen bagged the role of Bora in the Angelina Jolie, Elle Fanning star sequel, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Bora is an anti-villain who turns into a supporter by the movie's end. The highly anticipated fairy tale sequel was well received by audiences and made $113.9 million in North America and $491.7 million worldwide. Number 1. Deadpool, 2016 An R-rated superhero movie based on the Marvel Comics character, Deadpool stars Ryan Reynolds as the lead and Ed Screen as the antagonist Francis Freeman, or Ajax, an artificially mutated member and creator of Deadpool. Variety said the film was a smashing box office success, earning $132.4 million on the opening weekend, the highest for an R-rated movie, and made $783 million worldwide. Ed Screen has a varied acting range that outshines in every performance he's portrayed. From mighty warriors and strong characters to hateful antagonists, the actor is best known for playing supervillains that make movies more interesting. 
Ed Screen was last seen starring in the 2021 fantasy thriller Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.